All right, welcome back, YouTube. So I want to talk in this video about uh, the Schwalbe Pro 1 tubeless tires. This will be a long-term review of them. Uh, I got, you know, one of the fronts up there on my uh, Envy rims, one on the back. And uh, they ha do really, really well on uh, all kinds of terrain. Uh, you know, obviously not very good on grass or anything wet, really. They don't do nicely. But they actually do really good on, like, dry gravel. Uh, I wouldn't recommend them for going uphill on, on gravel stuff. I, they have slipped on me a little bit going uphill. But if it's flat gravel, like, they do great. Uh, I actually have another tire for that that we're going to be doing over that's right over here the um this is the uh pan eraser gravel king but uh that's not what we're going to be talking about in this video that's just and the only reason i got that one and not a uh, another uh schwalbe is because it fits better uh in my frame uh, it provides more clearance and whatnot than a, the any of the schwalbe brand stuff so uh this is not a video about the that particular tire though we are, haven't really tested that one out yet uh, we're going to be testing that one out soon coming up uh, it's it's awesome um, according to all the reviews that I read online of it uh, unlike the Schwalbe Pro 1 tubeless which has a lot of pretty mixed reviews you know um, I would say on Amazon like at least 50% of the experiences are negative uh, being that you know that's basically what you get usually when you have a tire that uh, spins really fast like a, a tire like this that has like you know 11 watts of resistance that's it on a pa on pavement uh, is going to be uh, generally speaking pretty shitty at flat protection and anything else um, that you know you would it so if you if you take it into like an urban area or anything it does this is not a tire for that uh, the Schwalbe Pro on tubeless uh, this is also not a tire for really Mainly just, you gotta keep it off of urban areas, you gotta keep it off of the wet, and uh, the wet like grass, the, the wet gravel, stuff like that. Uh, you don't want this tire for that. You want this for dry conditions, or wet can, it's pretty good in wet conditions on the road. It's not so bad, but uh, on all the other terrains, it's not good at all. Um, as far as uh, the use that I actually get out of each tire, uh, it's, First off, I do most of my pedaling indoors anyways at this point, and I was going to get a like a trainer tire, but I started to hook up my uh, trainer tire to my girlfriend's bike, and uh, which is over there, and I stopped completely with uh, doing the uh, the hookup of uh, that that particular tire to the back of this wheel, and I just started using Schwalbe's on the the trainer because I didn't really have any other choice. Um, and it works out great. Uh, they don't come apart, as you can see. There's not much. There's no, like hardly any. There's no rubber or even marks on the uh, uh, the trainer there, and the tire stays relatively intact, as you can see. There's not like there's a little sheen on it right there, but like all the treads and everything stay intact. And I I put well over like probably a hundred hours on this trainer so far with just that tire and it is doing great so they do great surprisingly on trainers um they don't deteriorate super fast i wouldn't recommend doing this um but you know if you have to or if it's just you know you're like me and it's a um you know really a major convenience to do something like this as opposed to do uh something else uh, like buy a whole other tire because it's a tubeless setup. It's very hard to get on the rims and stuff. Um, it works great though. So yeah, uh, it, it lasts really long on the trainer. Uh, it also lasts really long outside. Pro um, not as long as a lot of other tires that I've owned. Maybe about, uh, I, I feel like it's gotten, this dog is squeaking that thing over there. Um, maybe about 700 800 miles which is not particularly nice um but you know i mean that's what you're going to get out of a tire like this uh but like i said on the trainer on the indoor trainer it does really really nicely uh outdoors um i've already gone through like four of these tires i'm not the biggest fan of them to be honest with you in terms of training they're not really a training tire they're a racing tire if you want to train on them uh, you're in for like a you know world of uh, problems, but uh, yeah, because they're gonna just go flat. They're gonna they're gonna have tons of. They're not an all-arounder tire. 
Uh, All right, so uh, video died there at the end. What I wanted to mention for the last part was uh, the fact that the you know while it's not a great all around tire, if you're just going to be training on an indoor trainer most of the time, the the tire actually lasts much longer than it does on the road. <laughs> I mean, I probably put the equivalent of like I don't know probably 600 miles into it over that uh, trainer and it's I've had no problems it hasn't deteriorated rapidly or anything but then on the road when I put maybe I don't know 500 miles into it or something I had uh, it was full of holes I you know the yeah the uh, the tubeless setup saved me from having to get a whole new tire I just plugged them up but I haven't even had to, obviously, I haven't had to do that if you just train indoors. Uh, you know, you never have any problems with flats or any punctures or anything. Uh, and the tubeless is mostly just there to prevent me from having to stop during a race uh, in, the, in the future here. So, but yeah, it has prevented a lot of flats for me, which, so it, do, it does do its job, uh, the tubeless part. I can't really think of anything else uh, to add to it. Um, um, yeah, it's more or less a good tire. Uh, I, it rolls extremely fast. It's extremely comfortable. Uh, the most comfortable tire I've ever ran by far. Uh, that's in the 28 width, millimeter width. Um, and uh, for such a fast rolling tire, it's so comfortable and, uh, you know, basically flat proof with the exception of like running over acorn sized glass like I did um, the other, what was that, in Ju July or something like that when I almost uh, died. I got a double double uh, flat, go watch that video, double flat tire on a downhill. It was like the most unlucky thing ever. The two people in front of me didn't get flats, blow out flats, but I did. And some asshole threw a glass bottle on the road. That's how it all happened. But uh, yeah, I show the aftermath of that in a video, another video on this channel. Um, 